Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to convert an XML data on Excel sheet and Excel to XML. I will show you how to import and export from XML to Excel worksheet and from Excel worksheet to an XML file. So let's start the tutorial. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice on my screen there is one small XML file. The file name is the country details and I have saved this file on my desktop which contains some data, CID and CNAME. CID is a country ID and CNAME is a country names. Right now we have six country names here in this XML file. Now my aim is I want to uh, export this data, import this data from XML to uh, here in the blank workbook I have just opened here I want to display in a worksheet so for that um, notice on the menu bar there is a data option here click that one inside this data option there is a new query after the get external data there is a new query here open that one from this new query from file from XML now we need to select the file. I have saved this file on desktop and country details. Import. Select the current data. Here we got the data of the XML file. Click load. Six rows loaded here successfully on my Excel file worksheet. Let's close this one. See, this is the XML file. Here we got an Excel, uh, Excel worksheet. Now you can format easily. Format as a table. See here. And also you can align the data also. You can increase the size. Everything. Now this is how you can export the data. Uh, from XML to Excel worksheet. Now, now we need to convert an X Excel file to an XML file. So, what we will do is we will close this XML file. I don't want to save this file. I minimize this one. Uh, let's open one XML file. XML file. Let's open the payment details. Here we got the payment details. Now my aim is I want to transfer this data, export this data, the customer ID, customer name and city into an XML file. So first we require one new file to save this uh, payment details. So what we'll do is we'll copy this thing instead of writing the same code paste here I'm leaving as it is the root element XML version instead of country names I'm adding the payment payment details details and uh, we don't require this all we need to close the payment details also here now inside this data here the most important we need to add the same uh, same data customer ID the column names here customer ID we don't need here the data here we just require the column names only customer ID and the second one is the customer name second column is a customer name we don't require the data inside and the last one is a city paste here city and close the city i'm adding another record also here make sure add two data elements here two root elements here if you add only one data customer id customer name and city only one it will display only the first row only 
if we add more it will display all the records now once we add the xml file create an xml file with the same column names same column names now we need to save this file save and saving this file on the excel files uh, excel files here i'm adding the payment dot xml payment dot xml click save once we save the file now we need to map this xml file to this excel file so how we have to do that we require one xml uh, converter so that converter will get one developer option here we don't have any developer option let's enable the developer go to file uh, go to options in the options there is a customized ribbon click that one in the customized ribbon at the right side panel there is a developer here select that one once we select click ok here we got the developer option on the menu bar now click developer in the developer notice the last one in the ribbon we got an xml section here now let's open the source we need to map this uh, payment.xml file to this uh, payment details excel file so click xml map here add and this file i have saved on my desktop excel files this is the payment click open and this is specified xml source does not refer to a schema ignore that one click ok and click ok here we got the payment details customer id customer name and CPA. now just select the customer id from this data folder drag and drop on the same column name once you drag and drop notice we got the table format here the same thing customer name as well as a city also just drag and drop all these three columns we are mapping with the xml file column names to the excel sheet after that once we map with the xml file to an excel sheet now go to developer again now we got see the export option is enabled here export click the export not the same now save as xml file save as type xml let's give the uh, payment details payment details dot i'm not adding xml here because it will save in the xml file only export it saved successfully let's open the data here open payment details see here we got the payment details and you will get one doubt here why we have created payment.xml file because this xml file we are using to mapping this excel sheet after that after after that we'll save this file in another xml file which displays all the records that's it in this video tutorial i have shown how to convert the import and export from xml to excel file and excel file to an xml files thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial